Hey, so I'm back. The finished product. Um, I just got it tied down. I'm not sure if I'm all that happy with how I did it. But it's done. Um, so it wasn't enough hair when I got to the 14. So I had to add some of my go-getter hair into it. So the black, most of the black you see is the extra go-getter with 10 inches. So I added that to the crown. So there was about basically this much left that needed to be closed in. And I thought for sure there was going to be enough to go around, but no. So this is what we have have here. Um, you know, I don't know. <sighs> Being first time, I don't know. This is what the back looks like. Side. And there. Alright, stand up so you can get a look. I don't bother changing, so don't judge me. <laughs> so that's how long it is here. There's. This is the. What you can see, this is kind of straight. It actually is. It was kind of cramped or whatever. But I figured it would blend in. So I kind of made it blend. And so far I haven't been getting any shedding. Installing it, there was no shedding. Um, so that's what it looks like when you, you know, rush it out. This is uh, the Vogue. And the 360, 360 style sensation, sensational. Um, I mean, I, I like it so far. I'm not so sure about the way I put it in. You know, like I said, I put it on a cap. I did cut away the cap as much as I, I could. So and it's it's on pretty damn good. So this is what it looks like. And I didn't mention how much I paid for it, did I? My bad. It was nineteen ninety nine. But I think they have other um three sixty styles on sale right now for like nine ninety nine. So you should check them out, Sam Speedy. And it's not really much tangling, whatever. But I won't just let it, um, you know, when I go to bed, I most likely will wear um, a bonnet or whatever to basically keep it up, tie it up. Because I think that's how you keep your weaves a little longer. You know, make sure you tie it up or whatever. I tie up my own hair. And I, I do not go to bed without tying up my own hair. Or whatever it is that I've done to my hair. I tie it up. And I think that's something that everybody should be in the habit of. Regardless of what, if you're wearing a weave or your own natural hair or something, you should tie it up. You know, it keeps it from being, um drying and bed linen and I've been doing it for years so it's worked for me so far so I'm gonna keep this covered at night when I go to bed see how it holds up might get a little more um use out of it so and then you can also I mean it's it's nice it's not too bad but also, you know, this is, you know, I just installed it, so I just have to see how, uh-oh, <laughs> how, 
how it's gonna hold up and how long it'll hold up for. And let's see, for 20 bucks, it's not so bad. Let's see, look at that. And then you could do it like this. Look at that. You can pretty much twist it. Like that. So, you know, I haven't cut it, I haven't trimmed it or anything. I just pretty much um, put it in exactly how I wanted to wear it. So, like I said, I, you know, um, took the tracks and basically stopped it from right there, flipped it back, went around, stopped it right here. So, it kind of looks, it kind of looks like I did a part there, but I actually didn't. You know, it's just the way I laid the tracks. So, I don't know. Like I said, I'm I'm not all that happy about how it did because I think it, it kind of turned out like a gluey mess. <laughs> but I don't know. And that right here is the closure. And I tend to get a little carried away with the glue. You know, being that I was doing it myself and I really couldn't see, you know, what was going on up here and whatnot. But there's no gaps and I laid the tracks really close so I mean if I was to pull it apart you're not gonna see like any like gaps or anything like that and maybe that was some of the reason why there wasn't enough hair is because I laid the tracks so close I don't know because it seemed like it was gonna be enough but it wasn't so for any of you who purchased this hair I would recommend you getting maybe um, a bundle that's close to the style that you get so that way you if you need extra hair you can just add it in you know and you're not gonna be asked out if you just if you got some left that you need to um, close up so this is it No, I love this go getter hair. You see, this? it looks like it's kind of. I crimped it a little. It was crimped already when I installed it. But it's actually straight hair and it's 10 inches. So that was perfect. You know, and it's not heavy, it's actually light. And you see here. So it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Let's see that's how it is. So there you have it. I had to do something to, to put in place so that ridiculous wig situation that I had with eBay. Thank God I got a refund because I would have just died if I had been stuck. You know, they wanted me to send the item back that they sent me, but I think I mentioned that I, I there was no address. And I tried to email them, asking them for their address, and of course they didn't respond back. They're up to 60 negative feedbacks right now. So I guess that they eBay realized like okay this person not only took advantage of one person but they're pretty much up to sixty something people. So yeah. So I don't know if that's something that's going around or it's just that person. But like I said before, just be careful. So and my find that I I got over the weekend and I was so happy this. It's by Revlon. Now, some years ago, let me see. Over mm, about 18 years ago, Revlon had a color called Red Velvet. Was it Red Velvet or Red Crush? Anyway, 
they had this and it was all oh, I, I was just so in love anytime i bought lipstick i bought that particular color so i was so happy when i found this i've been looking so searching for this color and i'm wearing it right now so but the old one it tend to it being it was a beautiful color it tend to dry your lips out now I notice now they have improved it so there's a little more um, moisturizer in it which is great so it doesn't dry your lips out your lips are not chapped or anything like that but I mean now they come up they came out with stuff that you could apply to your lips before putting on you know uh, lipsticks that tend to dry your lips out I have one that I got from Estee Lauder excuse my closet um, it's a moisturizer. But actually, I got it as one, as one um, as a free gift. So this is what it looks like. It's actually white. Jesus Christ. So and this is um a moisturizer. So actually, you will put this on before you apply your lipstick. And I got this. So I buy Estee Lauder products, moisturizers, cleansers, and this is a. I don't really even hardly wear this. As you can see, it's damn near new, but it looks kind of pink. I guess not all that into the pink lipstick really, but anyway. So yeah. What is this? Oh, and this is one I got from eBay because I bought some Estee Lauder products on eBay. It is a pretty color, but look, it melted. It melted on the shipment, in the shipment here. So that kind of sucked because I really, but you know what? It's not like it's, it's trash. It's not trash because actually you can get a brush, a little lipstick brush. And it's kind of like, you know just uh, wipe the top and then you know put it on so it's actually still usable so yeah but I was so excited to find my favorite color that is my favorite color in the whole wide world red velvet anyway so what else besides my hair I wanted to talk about before um I kind of get off of here um this weekend saw uh, Resident Evil really good really good I wouldn't say it was better than the last one but it was good it was interesting very interesting um, I like that they gave Michelle a bigger role in this one than she had in the first one because she didn't she really didn't have not no no huge role in there it's just like she was she was there but then she wasn't there <laughs> if that makes sense but they gave her a really kick ass I mean that literally they gave her a kick ass role in this one she was badass she was total badass so I would recommend y'all to go see that if you're Resident Evil fans which, which I am I've seen just about no I won't say just about I have seen all of them I've seen all of them so I recommend anybody this that likes Resident Evil, the video games. As a matter of fact, the movie kind of reminded me of the video game a little, you know. It has a little bit of a twist to it, which will kind of shock you. I will say, if you haven't heard already, there more than likely will be a Resident Evil 6. So, kind of looking forward to that. Um... I think Michelle will probably be back in in six, and so that's that's really exciting. We probably won't see it for a year or two, but hey, you know, um, perfection doesn't happen overnight or whatever. <sighs> okay, so I don't want to bore you guys. I'm a little beat, as you can tell, because I'm just like a little all over the place. But I did want to show you guys this hair and you know I will um post the link for this particular style at the bottom 
and um, whatever. Tell me, tell me what you think about. You know, give me your opinion on how I installed this. Cause I mean, it may look like it's cool, but I don't know. I'm just. I have a mirror right there. I'm not so sure about it. I'm not absolutely sure about it. I just feel like I kind of did it. It's like all over the place. I mean, visually, like right here, you might go, oh, okay, it, it looks good. But then, I don't know. I, just, I don't know. I just don't know. Okay, well, let me know what you think or whatever. Um, I don't think it's too bad. I, I honestly don't think it's too bad. Um, I probably will come back another video in a week or on um, on this hair or maybe you know I'll talk about it I it's holding up and maybe in another video or something like that but so far I mean I like that it's not shedding and I'll say that much and that the waves or the curls or whatever you want to call it kind of snaps back but it's wavy as you can see deep waves so yeah all right well let me know what you think and whatever all right so i don't want to hold you guys up okay bye for now